In the beginning of the film, we are shown the time of 1944. We see a big war going on. The Nazi army was taking a man with them. His face was covered with a cloth, and the man's friend just keeps looking at him. He thinks that where is this army taking my friend? When the cloth is removed from the man's face, it is found that he is Indiana Jones. Actually, the Nazis were stealing a lot of antique things here after the war. They had found such things at the same place that are not found anywhere in the world. Indiana had also come here in search of a special knife. Now a Nazi's friend, whose name is Waller, he sees him and puts him his back. At that time, there was a powerful explosion in which Indiana escapes and goes out, and he sat in a car. Two Nazi soldiers also come and sit in the same car. He felt that his driver was sitting in front. That's why Indiana doesn't say anything and just keeps driving. But halfway through, the Nazi army found out that it was Indiana who was running away from them. Now when they find out, Indiana had jumped out of the moving car. And while killing some soldiers, he gets on a train. In that train, actually all the Nazi soldiers were taking antique things from this place. He reaches the train box where that precious knife was. But when he looks at it, he finds out that it is not real, but it was fake. This was already known to the Nazi comrade Waller. That's why he deliberately left it there. Waller had a very expensive machine here, which was made by a scientist, because of which he could also time travel. Now all these things are also given to Waller by Indiana's friend, whom he had caught. There, Indiana got a lot of antique, precious things. Then he comes from there and sits in another box so that no Nazi soldier can recognize him. Indiana also looks at his friend there, who was tied to a chair. He gets rid of him and takes him with him. In the next box, Indiana meets Waller, who had a device. He punches him and takes the device, which could also time travel. Then they both run on this train because they could have been caught in the train. But the Nazis wanted to catch them anyway. That's why they blast a bomb in front of that train. When Indiana sees this, he entered into the canal with his friend. That's why they both were saved. Now they find out that the Nazis had not dropped the bomb on the train. Actually, this was the work of the Americans. Now that time travel device was also in their possession. That is, Indiana could not get that device. Now the story comes in 1969. In 1969, Indiana Jones had grown up now. We are shown his college, where he was a professor who used to tell about in history. He asks a question to all his students. All the students give the wrong answer to his question. Here was a girl named Helena, who gives the right answer to all the questions of Indiana. Hearing this, he was very happy. He tells everyone the name of a scientist here. He says that he has made a lot of things, such as weapons and a lot of devices, etc., which can also time travel. Anyway, Indiana leaves the college now. Helena was also behind them, and behind Helena, a CIA agent, a lot of goons in a hotel. There was also an American agent among them. There is also a Waller there, whom we saw at the beginning of the story, who wanted to steal antique things. This American agent used to work for Waller. Actually, Waller hid his identity from everyone here that he is a Nazi. He used to work here with Nasser. The scene shifts to Helena and Indiana. Helena tells Indiana that I am studying archaeology. That is, I am very fond of knowing many things in history. I have read a lot about many things. She also talks about the same device here, which was a time travel device. Helena says that now I have to find that device, that dial. Hearing this, Indiana is a little disappointed. They now take Helena with them to the library of the same college where they used to study. They take out their device and show it to Helena. Because until now, Indiana had kept it safe with them. This is half of it. Half of it was broken by that scientist when he made. Because that scientist knew that it can also be used for wrong things. And sometimes it will also go in the wrong hands. Then some people come there who were CIA agents. They also had the same CIA agent whom we saw following Helena. They actually found out that Indiana has that time travel device. They shoot at them. Then Helena ran away with that device. Indiana is caught and put in a van and asked her, Tell me where is that device? Then her van stops ahead. There was a lot of rush ahead. Because today Neil Armstrong was 
about to take his first step on the moon. That's why his van is stopped. Now all of them decide to take Indiana on foot. But Indiana fooled them and ran away from here. They get on a horse from here. And then they came and sat in the train and left from here. In the future, they meet their friend. Because she had come to her friend, her friends tell her that Helena is a thief. She steals antiques, rare things and sells them in the market. And she has also spent a lot of time in jail. Hearing all this, Indiana says that I will have to find her because she has an expensive dial device. Now Indiana's friends make all the arrangements for her. They also got her fake passport made. Indiana's friends give her their cap, which was very old. They say that I remember every adventure done. The next day, when Indiana reaches a hotel look for her, Helena was auctioning that dial. When they go ahead to stop her, Helena's assistant stops them, which was also her friend. They move forward waving their hands. At the same time, Indiana also sees Walla. He had recognized her that she is a Nazi. Because he remembered everything, he looks at her and says, Helena, you can't auction this dial. Then a fight breaks out here. Everyone was behind that device. Finally, that device comes into Helena's hands. She throws it towards her assistant. Then Walla takes that device from her hand and takes it away. Helena and Indiana both come out running. But by then, Walla had gone from there. Indiana takes an auto rickshaw and follows them. But they had gone. Waller is shown. To whom the CIA agent was saying that you know, because of you, I don't know how many innocent people lost their lives. That is, behind Indiana, the CIA agents who were lying, they were all with Waller. Waller kills that agent and says that I am a Nazi. I was a Nazi and I will always be a Nazi. That is, until now, he was living here by hiding his his real identity. On the other side, Indiana goes to his friend who had a ship. He is a sailor. He tells him that look, I have to go into the sea. I need your help for this. Helena and her assistant were with him. Helena then asks Indiana during the conversation that if you get a chance to go back in time, then what will you do first? He says that if I get a chance, then first of all I will save my son who died in an accident. Saying this, he leaves their side. Now the next day he starts his journey to the sea. He had to find the ship of the Nazi which had drowned and was destroyed. There were many coffins lying there which belonged to those people who had drowned the ship and died. Then a whale fish comes to the Indiana drives him away from there. He found a box in that ship which he takes and starts coming up. Up in Indiana's ship, the men of the whaler had captured. As soon as they come up with that box, they take that box. There was a big stone on which something strange was written. Now he tells Helena to fall on that stone. Because she was an archaeologist, here she plays her trick and by telling her everything wrong, she makes a bomb blast. And now taking advantage of this, Indiana, Helena, and her assistant go to another ship. Indiana had also taken that stone with him. When he sees that the stone is very heavy, he sets it on fire. He thought that maybe there must be something inside. When he sets it on fire, a gold shield comes out of it, on which it was actually written. That where is the other part of the dial? He also finds out about a place where that scientist was buried, the one who made the time machine, and the other part was to be found there. Now the three of them go to the same place where Helena's assistant was captured. Indiana was worried about her. He also tries to follow them, but can't catch them. On the way, Helena tells Indiana that my assistant is very clever. You don't worry about him. He knows how to get out of trouble. Now when these two reach the cave, there were already the men of the boiler. Cereal gas was left in that cave. Indiana goes a little ahead. The way to go ahead was written on the gold shield they had got. Now moving forward, they find the men flowing river in the cave, which they cross from the bridge. There were also the men of the boiler behind them. Going ahead, Indiana and Helena see the cemetery of that scientist. 
When they removed that stone, there was his entire skeleton. There they also found the other part of the same device, which made Indiana very happy. Helena looks at the pictures made there, which were of today's time. There were pictures of an aeroplane and a clock made there, which surprised her a lot. Because she was thinking that how would anyone know about these things in that time. She also looks at the clock made on the same scientist's skeleton, which was of the coming time. She looks at it and says that this thing is quite surprising. The clock they have tied, this technology has not even come yet. Actually, Helena understands the thing here that the scientists are messing with time. They know time travel. Then Indiana also hears this and says that all these things are true. Then the boiler comes there, which says that the scientist was never wrong. Time travel is possible. Now he takes the other part of that device from, and at the same time, the scientist who tied the clock on his hand keeps it on the device. So it started working. Helena's assistant is also brought who attacks the boil. That's when the bullets started firing. In this, Indiana was also in. He tells Helena, look, you go, your life may be in danger. Now Helena and the assistant leave here. The boiler and his men took Indiana with them. They were all going to the airport. On the way, the boiler tells Indiana that I have found that place where I can travel in time. Now I have a device too. I am not afraid of any. On the other hand, Helena was following him with her assistant. She was watching him secretly. She shows her assistant a plane. She says, look at it. Will you drive it? He says yes, I will try. Now Helena gets on the boiler's plane with the help of a bike. His assistant was also coming back with the plane. The boiler had found the place where he could travel in time. We see that there is a bright light in the sky and the ship goes into the light. Helena's assistant's plane was also behind. That is, all of them had traveled in time and came back in time. Their plane gets out of control because at the time they had gone, there was a war going on and there was devastation everywhere. Now Helena tries to stop that plane, but it was out of control. That's why Helena also hangs from the plane. Indiana comes and saves him, but just then, both had fallen down. So his parachute opens and both are saved. There we also see see those scientists who had made this time travel machine. They were still sitting and completing it. That is, this time was behind. At that time, the time travel machine was not made. They now see that plane falling too, in which there was a boiler. That plane had completely fallen and been destroyed. Here the scientists come and remove the clock from the boiler's hand, which they had tied up. That is, what we saw in the present, on the hand of their tailor. Now Indiana tells Helena he here. All this was the plan of the scientist. He had set his dial in such a way that if someone used that dial in the future, he would reach the same place where he used to stay. And look, this is what happened. I want to stay here forever now. I just want to spend the rest of my life here. That's when the scientists come to him. They give the clock and the dial to Indiana. They tell him to take it with him in his time. Indiana says no. I don't want to go anywhere from here now. That's when Helena says, you have come here by time travel. If you stay here, problems can arise for us. That's why you have to come with me. That's when she hits a hard punch on his face, which makes Indiana unconscious. When he comes to his senses, he was in his world. That is, in his time. Present. In his present time, the same clock and time travel machine was lying with him from which he had gone 2000 years back. That's where Helena comes and says, I know you are alone. That's when she calls her wife there, who had left her before. They were all very happy. And with this, the story of this movie also ends here.